morning everybody we are just on our daily peregrination <laughs> to the beach and i wanted to show you what a beautiful sunny day it is we have I, we were just wondering if there's like an airport there like maybe on the other side because there we'll have la manche and then on the other side that will be england and so we're wondering which airport that will be that we have all of these planes coming from here we can properly see it like how glorious is that little design in the sky an absolutely beautiful morning before all the tourists start to arrive in any case it's quite early so mr tsd and me <laughs> are taking advantage of the peace that we still have at the beach but we absolutely love doing this whether it's raining cold sunny <laughs> it's our little a little tradition in the mornings and i absolutely love it since we moved here or part-time moved here but okay and we've arrived oh, it's just a couple of hundred meters from the house which is fantastic i still cannot believe that we wake that we get to wake up every morning and come here i don't know if you can see that but like back right at the border of the beach of the water um there's people that comes horse riding in the mornings and it's just so lovely and peaceful i love 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 this and best part is that a lot of dog owners will bring their dogs at this time in the morning and so we get to um <laughs> just have a lot of puppy cuddles while we still don't have our our little puppy here's a little puppy so cute hey puppy hey puppy cuddles <laughs> good morning everybody i hope you're all doing super super well i thought i would do a tiny little bit of an outfit check i am headed to a photo shoot with maison lorette i am so excited about this it's going to be in a beautiful location there's a beautiful car um coming as the prop etc so i really can't wait to show you that um but i just thought i would show you my little outfit of the day so it is basically a events shirt with I believe this is a wool Massimo Dutti skirt and then the shoes are um, classic Chanel slingbacks and that is the outfit that we're going to shoot although obviously the star of the look will be this gorgeous custom-made hat she's had done for the shoot so yeah cannot wait to see you there hello everybody so we just left the Close. the second location on the shooting today and now we are heading to our third and final location for today's shoot i am so excited to show you look at the beautiful hat i get to wear this is absolutely stunning and we are in this gorgeous car right now let me show you what it looks like well not really getting a hint of what it looks like but what you can get a hint of is that it's not the largest one however we are having quite a bit of fun here we have lovely Laure with her hat and yeah she's going around Normandy and shooting this beautiful Porsche with the lovely handmade hats we are actually back from the shoot I don't know how much footage I got to get the shoot going on around in any case you'll be seeing it in um, social media but there were actually a couple of imprevus happening so we had quite a bit of rain it was insane so as you can see here completely ruined but that's okay we managed to still shoot everything we had to shoot and I've changed into something cozy and 
warm and I'm actually packing up the pieces that are going to be picked up later from some of the products I bought for clients this week and so I thought I would be sharing them with you now. For a couple of different clients I found this like mini baby Hermes um, pearls and crystals earrings with the little logo which they absolutely love and then from Fendi I found this little wallet for a client that was looking for something like this so i think she's going to be really really happy with it it's an ecru wallet with yellow gold hardware now a not so quiet option but something that i was saying reminds me of how to lose a guy in 10 days is this gorgeous dress by Burberry. I think it's a piece that like if you pair it perhaps with a sweater dress on top and then you just have the collar coming out and like the little cuffs or something like that can be super super discreet and if you want to go all out why not you know you do you. I love the fact that we're all different everybody has different tastes and just because I dress a certain way or a client dresses a certain way it doesn't mean like one's better than the other. I'm just happy I get to find pieces that make everyone feel the most themselves because that is the moment when we're going to be kind of expressing ourselves the most natural and having the most fun with who we are but with clothes another gorgeous little piece in here is by gucci and this one is actually quite a funny one because last week i find i found the same one for another client so i filmed what i bought for my clients last week i must have filmed this one as well which is quite a cute kind of like discreet but loud at the same time piece um i think if you want to tone it down you can and then if you want to make it be loud you can as well it just really depends on how you're going to style the whole look for something like this. Oh, and then in case last week I didn't film the what I bought for my clients video, I actually wanted to share you this little sort of hack that I love showing clients in which you take the chain and then you just twist it on this end, um, put it over, and then you get yourselves a little shoulder bag. And that just makes pieces like this one so much more versatile. The chain already has a clasp, so you can completely take it out and wear it as a clutch if you want to. But I think it has a little bit more of a rock and roll vibe if you let the chains kind of fall down there. And then that way you can wear it as a clutch. Another piece I purchased with this beautiful Burberry coat, which has kind of like belled sleeves. And once again, I think it's something that... If you want to make it look loud, you can. If you want to make it look a little bit more quiet, you can. Despite of the fact that there's a huge loud pattern going on, it has become one of those classic timeless patterns. So I think it's a piece that is something that can easily last for years, be transferred on to somebody else after um, a little bit of <laughs> clothes recycling. And yeah, easily leave in more than one person's wardrobe. It's a pattern that's just always going to be relevant. Purchase quite a bit more stuff, but I'm going to get the boxes done because the mailman is coming to pick them up. And then I'm going to show you some of the things that I bought for myself this week because I've been treating myself just a tiny bit. So I went to a mess and picked up a couple of things in there. So there was actually a couple of tweedies that I was looking for and my essay was able to find them and have them ready for me because it's something I really wanted for the summertime, but I don't have them here. I've already had them put on my bag and this is what they look like. So they're basically a very lovely shade of navy. We have some golds in there, which is that camel tone in a mess. It's the Brie de Gala Tuili, so it's one of their most iconic designs which you will find in scarves and they brought it into a tweedy now i think it's the second time to bring it into a tweedy anyway love the color combination in here and you have the little brie de gala in there and then same for the one on the back not really the outfit <laughs> well colors do match um but i'm just on my little inside of house um, dress and cozy little piece in there they look absolutely lovely and i love the way she's tied them into a little bit of a peak going down now it is looking a little bit disheveled in there but that is because like i said we were 
on the shoot. There was a lot of rain, a lot of wind. We had to like run around. I actually had to use her little raincoat, which was fun. Funniest thing was that there was this Porsche car being used as a prop for the shoot we were at. The owner of the car really couldn't believe his eyes when I went into my bag and took out the little raincoat for the bag because he thought I was taking a break on for us. Like I took two because there's just two that come on the pack and then I keep the pack always in there. And the other goodie I picked myself up at a mess was one of their Haute Cologne fragrances. Now I normally tend to go for the green one, which is my absolute favorite one. And this time I picked the rhubarb one, which is basically Eau de Rhubarbe Écarlate. And it's gonna have kind of like rhubarb notes in there, obviously. And then there's a little bit of a denser scent with some musk in it. However, it still remains like a fresh scent, if that makes sense. So I really, really love it for springtime. And then for summertime, I'll prefer the Eau de Pamplemousse Rose, which is basically like pink grapefruit colonia one but then for springtime this one seems a little bit more like a less obvious choice it's not like your classic floral for springtime but something a little bit still in the botanical sphere of things with the rhubarb in there absolutely love that i did purchase a couple more things which are beauty ones but i used them this morning so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and fetch them and i'll be right back to show them to you i picked myself up a new foundation this was the by terry hydra foundation it's got spf 30 in it it says it's a long lasted liquid foundation and i have worn it um i think today's the third day i'm wearing it and yes i can confirm it is a long wear foundation where like I'll do my makeup in the morning and then remove it at night and it still looks flawless. I picked it up on the shade 400 neutral just in case anybody's wondering and it's a really really liquid consistency foundation. Let me show you what it looks like inside. We can also demo it and do a little bit of an application but there you can see. And then the last product I picked myself up is the Limitless Lush Mascara by Ilia. I've never tried anything from this brand, but I have heard great things about this particular mascara. And so I really wanted to try it because I was in for a new mascara. So this one is in the shade After Midnight, which I think is just a normal black shade. But what is interesting about this one is that the brush is never like super, super charged. And I think after wearing it twice, I kind of feel like it's never getting lumpy or anything like that. I hope my thing in there will focus to be able to show you that. That way you can see a little bit about the brush and you can see like it doesn't really charge a lot of product. And so that makes application very seamless. It kind of like really separates every lash, holds the curl. Um, I don't have the longest lashes anyway. So I don't expect it to lengthen my lashes like crazy, but I do like my lashes to be like all separated and not have like that lumpiness in, in them. And so far, I really, really like it. I also read it's like 90 something or 80 something percent natural ingredients. So I'm definitely going to be looking into more products from this brand soon and I'll report back. And then the final thing I purchased myself this week was after the recommendation from a friend. So we went for this birthday dinner and we were talking about getting tan and getting ready for summertime, etc, etc. Even if it's looking miserable outside. And um, we were saying we wanted to like be as tanned as we could, but we didn't want the sun exposure, etc. And one of them advised us to take this Orocum pills and basically apparently I don't know they kind of like make you have a little bit of a glow from within it's a natural product it's an antioxidant pro vitamin A and let me show you what it looks like I have it in this little container because I've broken the, the package it comes in and it just makes it a little powdery all around in the kitchen counter alternatively but it's basically they kind of look like terracotta pills and a friend that recommended it she showed us some pictures of what she looked like on a summer she was taking this or it was like a before and after and I said you know what I wouldn't look like that and so I picked myself one um, and I'm gonna give it a go let's see I mean I guess if I do look more tanned you will be seeing it don't be 
fooled by this in here because this is just fake tan for the shoot we had today and the rest is just makeup um i'm still like that wall <laughs> but um i do have high hopes for this because apparently it had really really good reviews i picked it up in amazon arrived next day delivery love amazon <laughs> and that is everything i bought my clients and myself this week and now I'm gonna actually get cracking on some lookbooks I need to put together for other clients, for other events they have coming up. And then I will probably see you on the next vlog. If you're not done watching, I'll leave you two little next vlogs in here so you can continue. Bye.